BK Water is a public company specialized in water resources management. We provide various international water education programs for the developing countries to solve water-related issues all around the world. In this course, you will learn principles and practices for pipe cleaning, leak detection and recovery, and water pressure management. In developed countries, water quality issues such as red water frequently occurs due to aging pipelines. Pipe cleaning can be a good solution to this problem, and the latest technology will be introduced. Leakage is one of the problems encountered in modern water supply system operation. It is mostly caused by aging, construction defects, and rupture of water and sewage systems and groundwater pipes. Systematic management is required to keep the water pressure constant in order to prevent leakage. If the leak continues, it needs to be detected and repaired quickly. This course guides you through water pressure management and valve operation to narrow down suspected leak areas and how to use a leak detector to pinpoint leaks. K-Water has opened the Water Distribution Network Education Center in 2018 and established a leak detection practice room. This practice room, with a size of about 330 square meters, is an educational facility where you can study and practice leak detection in reproduced pinholes generated by impacts or corrosion to pipes. Currently, a cast iron pipe with a diameter of 150 millimeters and an extension of about 200 meters is buried. There are 30 control valves, seven pressure meters, and two flow meters installed. They provide pipe network data, including flow and pressure in real time. Until recently, Water management was carried out to secure water supply capacity and to control floods well. In particular, as water supply facilities are expanded, facility management is becoming increasingly difficult. Civil complaints related to water quality are rapidly increasing due to sediment or red water outflow caused by aging pipes in the water supply. Water quality may vary depending on how the obsolete pipes are managed. Now. Let's learn about a water management method and pipeline cleaning that physically removes sediment from obsolete pipes to reduce the secondary contamination that occurs in the distribution water pipe network. There are two ways available to clean the pipeline, pigging and oxygen cleaning. Pigging is to remove sediments from the inner wall by generating friction as the pigs inserted in the pipe move by pressure and flow. Then, shall we practice picking? First, close the valve in the section to be cleaned. And open the inlet. Then, insert a cleaning pig. The inlet should be sealed for safety. When the operation starts, the hard and heavy pig moves rapidly by the water pressure and flow in the pipe. At this time, Sediments on the inner wall are removed due to friction between the pig and the pipe, and the separated sediments move to the outlet with the pig. Then what is the difference between oxygen cleaning and pigging? Oxygen cleaning quickly sprays high-pressure oxygen inside the pipe, and the turbulence generated removes sediments from the inner wall. Oxygen cleaning is less effective than the pigging method, but it has the advantage of low risk of damage or clogging of water pipes due to pigs. Next, shall we practice oxygen cleaning? First, as with the pig cleaning, close the valve in the section to be cleaned. And open the inlet, then spray high pressure oxygen. For the cleaning effect, keep the pressure at 100 megapascal when spraying. Finally, confirm if the remaining particle matters has been removed 
and check the turbidity. Next, we will practice water pressure management. For effective leak management, water pressure management is crucial. Since excessive water pressure can damage the pipeline, causing leakage, it is necessary to properly manage the water pressure in the distribution water pipe network. In the Water Pipe Network Center, you can simulate and practice the roles and functions of auxiliary equipment, such as the pressure reducing valve, flow meter, and pressure gauge for water pressure management. The pressure reducing valve is one of the most important equipment. Its function is to keep the pressure at the rear end constant in response to changes in water pressure at the front or flow rate at the rear. Now let's learn three ways to manage water pressure using the relationship between water pressure and water leakage with a pressure reducing valve. The first is a fixed pressure control. This method operates the distribution network while maintaining a constant pressure. Since the appropriate water pressure is set and operated after a site investigation in advance, it is useful when applied to a supply system operated at a constant, low or high pressure. Second is the time control method. The pattern of domestic water usage varies by time, but it is very regular. Therefore, it is efficient to operate by setting the appropriate pressure required for each time period. Lastly, the flow control is a method that changes the pressure according to the flow while satisfying the minimum pressure required in the management area. In each of the three methods, if you enter the input values of the pressure reducing valve by using the remote control board, you can see the changes of pressure and flow, which can be monitored through the remote control panel. Now let's learn more details of leak detection. The first step in locating the leak point is to find the area where the leak is suspect. First, monitor isolated areas with a pressure meter and flow meter. You may find a drop in water pressure in a certain isolated area. If you suspect a drop in water pressure due to a leak, you can assume a leak somewhere in this area. The next step is to pinpoint the leaking spot with a listening stick. There is also a method of locating the leaking pipe using sound. The listening stick amplifies the leaking sound like a stethoscope. First, put it on the end of the exposed valve fire extinguisher, meter, etc. of the pipeline. Bring your ears closer to the other side. At this time, do not touch the listening stick with your hand because it may obstruct the sound transmission. Also, you can use an electronic listening stick. The principle of operation is the same as that of a regular listening stick, but it consists of the main body and a headset. First, wear it like the photo. If you slowly listen to the suspicious leaking area, you may locate the leaking spot as the sound's intensity varies. Then, put the detector along where the pipe is buried. You can locate the leak by the variation of the sound. Now let's look at how to recover leaks following water pressure management and leak detection. Leakage recovery practice is only available in the practice room where the actual cast iron pipe leak hole is reproduced. This practice room is fully equipped with a hydraulic pressure control valve and drainage facilities where an educational program is offered to learn how to use fusion equipment for PE pipe. In order to recover from leaks in cast iron pipes, first, locate the leak hole. Next, insert a wooden needle into the leak hole to block the leakage, and then cut the wooden needle. Then tightly wrap the cutoff leak hole with a coupling band. In order to repair PE pipes, which are mainly used for small diameter distribution water pipe, an electric fusion equipment for PE pipes must be used. First, input pipe data such as material and diameter into the fusion equipment. Next, P 
peel off the outer diameter of the infeed using a filler. Connect the two pipes to be connected and activate the electrical fusion equipment. Then, the heat generated hardens the connecting part and the connection is completed. Butt fusion equipment for PE pipes. Fix the PE pipe to the liner. Use a beveler to even out the uneven cross section. Remove the beveler and insert a heat case to melt the cross section under pressure. Heat for 58 seconds. Get rid of the heat case within 6 seconds. Apply a certain pressure to join the molten area. Cool at room temperature for 8 minutes. In this course, you have learned pipeline cleaning to manage water quality and water pressure management to prevent leakage and how to detect and recover leaks.